in the measurement setup that we have come up with so far, there is a potential issue. We want to test the effect of an EMP on an airplane that's in flight. But as we have it right now, the airplane is resting on the bottom conductor. Would it be better to maybe suspend the airplane between the two conductors? We could achieve this by flying the airplane, but it would be dangerous to fly the airplane during the test. What if we lost control of the airplane's critical systems? Another option might be to put the airplane on a platform inside the, the transmission line. In this case, there would be three requirements for the platform. One, it would have to be strong enough to hold the airplane. Two, it would have to be able to handle any vibrations from having the airplane's engines on during the test. We want the engines on because the engines would be on as it's flying around in a real life situation. And three, it would have to be, the platform would have to be invisible. Invisible to the E1 component of the EMP. That is, we wouldn't want the platform to interfere with our measurement system and give us inaccurate results. Can you think of some materials that might work? Perhaps concrete, but the concrete would need to be reinforced with something. And perhaps a wood structure would work or perhaps something made out of fiber-reinforced plastic, although the plastic would cost about five times more than the wood. Since the plastic is expensive and the concrete would need to be reinforced with something anyway, let's consider for the moment wood. A wood structure, if designed correctly, could be made strong enough with a good design. But is it invisible to the EMP? We will need to figure this out. Take a moment and uh, take out your in-class project notebook and make a note about how we might get more realistic measurement results that would be more representative of an airplane in flight if we do not let the airplane rest on the top of one of the conductors of the transmission line. We're going to be looking into this. If we do need to move the airplane away from the bottom conductor of the transmission line, we could install a platform. So list some of the candidate materials and some of the requirements that we have for the platform.